go. Coffee time. point of this trip is actually to build a portage from here to Jan Lake. I won't be able to build as much portage as I want uh, because I'd actually try to like to try to make this a loop where you can kind of park where I put in and then do a whole loop which would take you to Jan Lake and then Moran Lake and then back into here. This morning I'm gonna go start chopping my first portage see how it goes. So I got a little bit of wind um, I gotta go across the lake all the way down it. I should probably should have camped on the other side of the lake, but I'm unsure of campsites over there. So I gotta gotta battle this headwind, uh, get down, start chopping, and then what I'm gonna do is actually gonna come back, fish my whole way, and have fish for supper tonight. I was originally planning to have, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, some kind of chicken cashew stir fry, but uh, after catching that one lake trout, kind of gave me a little bit of a hankering. I want some lake trout. Well, I'm just checking out this little island by mine. It looks like it's been camped on or at least used by fish parties quite a bit. It's actually a bit better of a campsite than I'm actually staying at. I've never really checked out this island. Don't know why, but it uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, this is a primo site, nice and flat. You could probably make me room for more, uh, more camping spots. Here is my uh, first portage I gotta cut through. <laughs> I wasted a lot of the day just by chilling out and relaxing. It's probably around two o'clock, I'm assuming. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much chopping I'm gonna get done today, but I should be able to get this one done. I think it's 150 meters. So I remember going through it once just to kind of check it out a long time ago. Um, should be doable today for sure. Well, here's the lake I'm trying to portage to. There is a bit of a beaver dam that you can launch from, so it's pretty sweet place to launch. Pretty easy peasy, and it is beautiful in here. Kind of as you climb up, it's, it's pretty steep coming up. There's all these boulders on your right hand side when you're coming this way. Cliffs, ferns, just beautiful. But yeah, I, uh, I didn't really cut much on the way up. I just kind of wanted to trek out a path. I'm gonna cut my way back and then try to portage my canoe up here. So I wouldn't mind trying to get into this lake and paddle it. Wonder if anybody's ever paddled it before. Man, 
It's just gorgeous in here. I think I'm uh, about one third of the way back. I'm beat. I'm getting old. I can tell you that. Old man strength only lasts for about a minute, and then you just go on empty. It's a hypertage going up, but it's worth it. It's just ferns, mosses, little creek, big trees. Awesome. Um, well, finished chopping. It's really rocky. I'm just gonna kind of drag drag my canoe over top, and then it get better, a lot better. There's a lot of ankle busters in there. Here we go. Looks like there's two campsites. The one that I saw from on top of the hill and then there's this one. This looks pretty darn good too. Oh yeah, lots of places to camp. This is like deluxe. Doesn't look like anybody's ever camped here. This is like Campsite Opolis. It's massive. So many places you could put a tent. It's pretty fantastic. Doesn't look like anybody's actually ever camped here before. I don't see any kind of, no one's, there's no places where it's been really disturbed. Yeah, this is crazy. Well, the wind picked up a little bit. I better start heading back. I gotta catch a fish for supper. Here 
fishy, 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 fishy. This guy, I think it's a Salmo roach. I was catching, uh, I caught a fish yesterday and had one on just off the island, but I was able to give it a lot of action. And it's just not, I haven't got a bite on it trolling. So I'm gonna go with a tried, tested, and true hook that I usually, I usually do really good with. It's just a Daredevil five, five of Diamonds. So we're gonna throw that on and see if that's gonna change my luck. Salmo's just not cutting it. Sorry, Kiss Salmo. Come on, Daredevil. Don't let me down. Man, just had a big hit. Something tagged it. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy. It's probably a snot rocket, but oh, there we go. Oh no, Laker! Supper! Let's see if I can get him in though. Yeah. They usually come in like a log, and then when you get them to the boat, they just start to spin. I'm gonna get them in. Oh, yeah. Barely in there. There we go. One supersized lake trout. That's a lot of fish, actually. Dispatch them. Turned really beautiful out. Lemon pepper mix going on here. Hopefully it turns out okay. Well, the gulls are here. Fish are through in the water, they already sniffed it out. Or like the remains of the fish. Try again. One more time. You know you want it. Oh, there you go. Third time's the charm. Looks like it's taste test time. Mm. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Bam. I'd almost give it a double bam, but it's not walleye. So uh, here's the finished product. Looking pretty good. Just need a little bit here and a little bit there. It is gorgeous out right now. I ate all that fish. I can't believe I did, especially with the potatoes in there too as well. The lemon pepper mix I had was pretty salty. I think I will put a little too much lemon pepper in there. Gonna tuck in for the night here pretty soon. As soon as it kind of cools down a little bit. It got really warm today. Like it is freaking gorgeous out right now. So yeah, here's the, here's the sunset.